Hello everyone, it's me again, Dr. Babatunde Okewale. Today I'll be talking about ectopic pregnancy. It's a very important topic. And the reason is, ectopic pregnancy is one of the five leading causes of maternal death. Now, pregnancy normally starts in the fallopian tube. The egg of the woman and the sperm of the man meets inside the tube and fertilization occurs there. The fertilized egg travels from the fallopian tube into the lining of the womb and it starts growing there. Ectopic pregnancy is any pregnancy growth outside the inside of the womb. And this could happen anywhere else. If it happens in the tube, it's called a tubal pregnancy. If it happens in the cervix, it's called a cervical pregnancy. If it happens in the abdomen, it's called an abdominal pregnancy. So what it means is any pregnancy outside of the lining of the inside of the womb is called an ectopic pregnancy. And the significance of it is if it is left untreated, it results in excessive blood loss and it could result in death. And like I said, it's one of the five leading causes of maternal death. About 20 out of 1,000 pregnancies results in ectopic pregnancy. Or if we break it down, that is two out of every 100 pregnancies. So how does a woman know that she has ectopic pregnancy? The first symptoms are the symptoms of pregnancy, because it is a pregnancy. The woman will miss her period. She will do a pregnancy test and it will be positive. And she might even have all the symptoms of pregnancy, such as nausea and vomiting. But one other thing happens. She will have abdominal pain at some point in time. And she might have some slight vaginal bleeding. In some women with ectopic pregnancy, the first symptom they might have is that of fainting or going into shock. So how does the doctor know if a woman comes to the hospital and you suspect ectopic pregnancy? The first thing is the pregnancy test will be positive. And then when you do an ultrasound scan, you will now find out that you cannot find the pregnancy inside the womb. That should raise the suspicion of an ectopic pregnancy. What are the common risk factors? Who are the people that are predisposed to ectopic pregnancy? Like I said, 20 out of a thousand pregnancies result in ectopic pregnancy. Any woman that has had a previous ectopic pregnancy has a high chance of having another ectopic pregnancy. Any woman that has had infection that we call PID, pelvic infection, or sexually transmitted disease that has blocked her tubes, has a high risk of having an ectopic pregnancy. Any woman that has had a tubal surgery has a high risk of having an ectopic pregnancy. Women who are on the, a form of contraception called IUCD are prone to ectopic pregnancy if they do get pregnant. IUCD normally should prevent pregnancy in 99% of cases. But if pregnancy occurs, then one should be suspicious that it could be an ectopic pregnancy. Some of the assisted reproductive techniques, such as GIFT and IVF, has a slight risk of ectopic pregnancy following them. So how do you make a diagnosis of ectopic pregnancy? 
The first thing is the symptom, like I explained. The woman will come with pregnancy symptom. She could have abdominal pain. She could have vaginal bleeding. Or she could come in fainting or in shock. The second thing is you do a pregnancy test. If it is positive, the next thing is to do an ultrasound scan. Preferably a vaginal ultrasound scan. If a vaginal ultrasound scan does not see any pregnancy and the pregnancy test is positive, then one should be very, very suspicious that it could be an ectopic pregnancy. Other tests that could be done is a laparoscopy. Laparoscopy is a direct view of the inside of the pelvis to see whether there is an ectopic pregnancy there or not. Because a lot of ectopic pregnancy comes when it has already ruptured, especially in the tubes, it will come with shock and fainting. And so when you do a laparoscopy, you might see blood in the abdomen of the woman. What is the treatment? The treatment of ectopic pregnancy, especially tubal ectopic pregnancy, is surgery. And the, kind, the commonest kind of surgery that is done is to remove the tubes, especially if the tube has already ruptured. Sometimes, if the ectopic has not ruptured, one might do a conservative surgery and milk out the ectopic pregnancy and still save the tubes. There are some drugs that have been used in ectopic pregnancy, especially in ectopic pregnancy that has not ruptured. Drugs such as methotrexate. But the mainstay of treatment for ruptured ectopic pregnancy is surgery. Thank you for listening. To know more about ectopic pregnancy, I will advise you read my book. It's available on Amazon, How to Get Pregnant and Have a Baby. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube page. Make your comments and like. Thank you.